is back, cause I'm mass destruction. Guess who see it? The bad boys are wrestling. Testing competition when the war does the mission. Guess who see it? The bad boys are wrestling. Testing competition when the war does the mission. Not no mercy. See the race like the street. If you don't know, you better find out the war pack. It'll prove a point. Number one, just believe that you don't want to test with them. I'll be there for them. Come in the ring with them. They're never walking out again. Don't turn your back on the war pack. Chances. Now it's time to show you we're wrong In the rain, this is war, all you sucks, not strong Day in, day out, the wolf pack for life Tell my who has the guts to come in the rain tonight We care about the replicas, we make our own rules You don't have where to take the field, they shoes See, it's just a crowd pleaser On the run of me, feel the punishment for making enemies with these soldiers Turn your back on the wolf pack Turn your back on the wolf pack
no sound but the sound of speech. Machine guns ready to go. Are you ready? Hey, are you ready for this? Are you hanging on the edge of your seat? Out of the doorway, the bullets rip. To the sound of the beat, yeah. Another one bites the dust. Another one bites the dust. And another one gone, and another one gone. Another one bites the dust, yeah.
Bishop Gallagher at Tennessee. Bishop Gallagher, class double D runners up last year, and they look good here early on. Robert Strother takes the pass here, and he'll wiggle around the right end and get into the end zone for six. Bishop with the lead by the score of six nothing. But Genesee has a few tricks up their sleeve. Check it out, Pete Brown. Oh, he finds a wide open man. It's Tom Schwab. That's good for a first down. Leads to a touchdown for the Wolves. Then a little later on, it's going to be Schwab here. Uh, breaking a tackle, breaking a tackle, moving to the outside. You can kiss him goodbye. Genesee with the big win today by the final score of 20 to 12. And welcome back to the second half of Friday Night Football. Scott Johnson alongside Mickey York. You know, Scott, there's a newcomer in the Genesee area conference this year. And they're called Genesee, and I'll tell you what, they're also called the Wolves. And speaking about dancing with Wolves, how about Jeff Heisner in his own? Yeah, the Genesee's making some noise in the former Genesee 8 conference. Now it's the Genesee Area Conference, but they might want to rethink things and just name it Genesee's Conference. That's because they're playing some great football out there. Jim Massering telling his Wolves to go out and hit the Bendel Tigers. And check this one out. Jason Kuhn takes off the head of Nick Abbey. The ball bounces right into Nolan Spears' hands. That leads to Chuck Marshall's 14-yard touchdown the hard way, dragging defenders into the end zone. 21-8, Genesee in the fourth. Next series, more Chuck Marshall. Nifty run here. That sets up another score for the senior tailback. 19 carries, 105 yards, two touchdowns. Genesee over Bendel, 28-8 tonight. Our defense dug in and did the job when they had to. We let down a little bit early, and we came back and played real tough. Going into a new conference, you've, you've never played there before. You don't know what to expect, but we played a couple teams from this conference last year, and we, we just hope we have a good season. Well, the little team right next to Crossroads Village is having a good season. 3-0 and overall, 2-0 and in the Genesee Area Conference. Back to you, Scott. Hey, Sue Ann, let's flip on over to the GAC. Bendel and Genesee both started the night undefeated. Only one would end it that way, and it would be Genesee taking charge late. Chuck Marshall going 12 yards for the touchdown to put the Wolves up 21-8. to then it's Bendel trying to mount a comeback, but they miss the pitch. Derek Beard recovers for the defense. And that set up another touchdown for Genesee, who wins 28-8 to improve to 3-0. Chuck Marshall led the way with 105 yards and two touchdowns. 
Today's Friday football pick is Genesee at Goodrich. The Genesee Wolves are undefeated in three games and face a challenge going into the Martian world to take on Goodrich. Goodrich is 2-1 and one on this young season with its only loss going to arch rival and defending state class A champ Montrose. It's the Wolves on Mars with Chuck punting for Norma today. Chuck, what's your choice? <gasps> Is there any choice, whistleblower? I picked the Wolves from Genesee High. It's a small school with a big football team. Pete Brown has been handling the ball well with help from Jason Kuhn, Nolan Spear, Robert Burchell, and Robert Hayden. These guys will send your Martians back into space. <laughs> Brian Ames, Mike Lu Lucero, and Don Driscoll have polished up the old phasers to attack the Goodrich line. Chuck Marshall, Tom Schraub, and Travis Carpenter are ready to go. 4-0 this season and intend to do it on the Martian turf. The Martians will see no red. No way. No the way. Martians will see red as they win 24-16. Take that to your leader, Martian girl. In the GAC, Genesee was at Goodrich, trying to win its fourth in a row, and the Wolves would just keep on rolling tonight. Quarterback Pete Brown keeps it himself on this one, takes it right in for the score to get the Wolves on the board. And then it's Brown showing he can pass as well. He dropped back and throws it just about as far as he can right to Ryan Watson, who takes over from there. Genesee jumped on top 20 to nothing, then holds on to win by one, remaining undefeated. Owasso Speedway legend and Genesee grad Gary Knight Train O'Hare watching his Wolves at Goodrich tonight, and he gets to see Pete Brown scamper in for 12 yards out, 6-0 in favor of the Wolves here in the second quarter. Owasso's next drive. Inside the 10 when disaster strikes Ryan Olshafer. Oh, it's a football. The Wolves pouncing on that one. And they have the football. Very next play, it is Brown saying, you complete me, Ryan Watson. 97 yards, he's gone for the score. Genesee goes up 20 to nothing. They hold on for the win tonight at Goodrich. 2019, the final. So far, it's been an exciting start to the high school football season for the Genesee High School Wolves. Genesee unbeaten going into tomorrow night's game with Byron. Greg Molson with the story. It only seems natural that Genesee should play in the Genesee Area Conference. But this is just the Wolves' first year in the GAC. So far, so good. They're off to a 4-0 start. Well, we expected to have a strong team, but we also knew we had a strong schedule, so we, we really didn't know where we were going to be. We knew we had to perform in order to get there. Yeah, I think we surprised people because coming into a new league is very hard, and they didn't think we could do it, so we pretty much surprised like other teams like Bendel and Goodrich. And those two teams are always near the top of the GAC standings, but the Wolves have beaten both in the past two weeks, proving they belong. They've always had good, uh, good football teams, and to beat them pretty much showed us where we're at. The two of the hardest teams in the conference that we play, and you know, figured they'd put us in a good seat for the playoffs if we took them. It has also put Genesee in position to win at least a share of the GAC title. They've already beaten the top teams on their schedule, and they don't have to play Mighty Montrose. You know, the league schedule's the way it is, and so we're just going to play who they tell us to play. That's a plan that's been working out pretty well so far. In Genesee, Greg Molson, ABC 12 Sports. Genesee against Byron, just one of the games you'll want to know more about, and you'll find out about tomorrow night right here on ABC 12 News at 11. Uh, Genesee continues to roll on tonight. Uh, the Wolves roll over uh, Byron, and they are happy at Genesee. Ooh, Pete Brown keeps it. The three-yard pickup there for the guys in green. Genesee big on defense, too. Chuck Marshall would sack the Byron quarterback, Brian Fielheber, a nine-yard loss. Genesee over Byron tonight with a score of 27 to nothing. The annual battle... Well, thanks, Scott. Well, if things keep up in the Genesee Area Conference, we might just have co-champions. That's because Genesee and Montrose both unbeaten, but they don't play each other. To the highlights, Byron had to deal with Genesee in their huge following tonight. Genesee on the attack. Chuck Marshall picks up 20 yards here. The drive would stall one of few drives that would stall for the guys next to Crossroads Village. Late in the fourth, Byron looking to get some things going. Brian Fehlhausen throws this one into coverage. The pass is knocked away. The Wolves win this one and improve to 5-0, 27-0, the final. Good evening, everybody. I'm Mickey York. You know, as sports guys, we try to remain as unbiased as we can when it comes to covering various sporting events. But this Saturday, I may have a little trouble rooting for the Genesee Wolves. Nothing against the Wolves, but their opening round playoff opponent will be Luther Northwest, my brother's alma mater, and the school I coached JV football at many moons ago. 
Amazingly, the Crusaders have managed to succeed without me. Go figure. They'll bring a 6-3 record to Genesee on Saturday. The Wolves are 9-0, but somehow have managed to stay out of the state's top 10 in Class C. They are the number one seed in their playoff region, but despite their second straight playoff appearance and a share of the Genesee area conference crown of powerhouse Montrose, head coach Jim Masserang and his boys continue to have to earn their respect. It's not going to be an awful big challenge, you know, on the other if we can get past Luther Northwest, then we have to play the winner of Bendel and uh, Brown City. And uh, we know what kind of competition that is. That's real tough. All right, and we go to Genesee, where the Wolves were hosting Rochester Hills, Luther and Northwest. Pete Brown to Travis Carpenter right there, giving Genesee an 18-9 halftime lead. And the Genesee D wouldn't let the visitors back in it. Derek Beard, Beard getting physical there. Then it's the offense again. Check out Ryan Watson taking off on a 35-yard touchdown run as Genesee wins big 40-9 for their 10th straight win. In other news tonight, a small mid-Michigan town is gearing up for a big night for its local football team. The Genesee Wolves are going into the playoffs tomorrow night undefeated, and they're going with lots of good wishes from hundreds of residents. NBC 25's Jennifer Akers is working to get reaction on all the hype. She's standing by live in Genesee with more. Jen? Lee, the Genesee Wolves play game number two tomorrow right here, and they're not the only ones psyched. So is the entire community. Now the Wolves finished 9-0 in the regular season, and they won their first game in the playoffs, making them 10-0 in the season. Now tomorrow they'll go for their 11th victory against the Bendel Tigers, who they've already beaten once this year. Players and coaches spent the afternoon preparing for tomorrow's showdown, but they credit a lot of their success to the fans. I don't explain, I mean, it just I mean, it puts me up inside. I just want to just, just to prove, show everybody how good we are, you know? We've been good since seventh grade, so it's my last year, so. I think it's great because uh, they don't, uh, I don't think they understand how much it helps us um, to play a lot better because it gets us pumped up for the games, and uh, it's a big help when they're here to support us like that. Players and coaches tell me they've worked hard for this, and they're expecting another victory tomorrow. Live in Genesee, Jennifer Akers, NBC 25 News. Lee? So, Jennifer, I would imagine there's going to be a huge turnout for tomorrow's game. Definitely. The fans have been behind them from the start. They say they'll be back tomorrow to root them on. Lee, back to you. Okay, thanks, Jennifer. Now, the Wolves are in a new league this season that put them up against bigger teams. But even with the tougher games, they're still undefeated. And you'll get more on Genesee's run for a championship coming up later in sports. Well, another rematch is all set. Bendel and Genesee, two Genesee area conference schools, play for the second time this year. Both enjoyed great seasons, but only one will move on after tomorrow's game at Genesee. Jeff Heisner has more. Whether it was the second half meltdown by Bendel or Genesee just picking up their game, That'll be decided tomorrow as the Tigers and Wolves go at it again. Not so much that we got beat by a bad team because they're a good football team, but uh, we didn't play uh, a great game when we were there. We turned the ball over seven times. I think we're excited. I mean, we got another chance at Genesee. That's what we've wanted all year, ever since the third week. The Tigers got exactly what they wanted, and all the talk surrounding the game won't matter. Hey, Park. There's talk everywhere. I mean, we went and watched them Saturday, and, you know, there was talk there, and then, you know, there's talk on the computers and there's talk everywhere. So, yeah, you know, you're expected to hear it from somewhere. While the Tigers are using revenge as part of their motivation, here at Genesee, the Wolves just want to keep playing. It's uh, hard to beat the same team twice. So, uh, you know, we want them just so we can stay in the playoffs and keep going. They want us just so uh, they can keep going and to get us back for the first game we beat them. We played them earlier in the year. We won that football game, but uh, that really doesn't mean much at this time of year. They're an awfully improved football team. Turnovers were the key to Genesee's win over Bendel in week three, and the Wolves are hoping for more of this tomorrow. We'll probably come out victorious if we can make seven turnovers again. At Genesee, Jeff Eisner, NBC 25 Sports. On to Genesee, where we had the Wolves taking on the Tigers of Bendel. Pete Brown with a quick slant to Travis Carpenter. He is off to the end zone to put Genesee up 20 to 12 at the half. Bendel comes right back in the third quarter. Jason Kelly on the sweep. He is going to take it in to cut the lead to just 20 to 18. And that was as close as it would get. Ryan Watts, Watson adding another score for the Wolves, who go on to win 34 to 18. Genesee winning its 11th straight game. Bendel taking on Genesee, and hey, baby. 
Second half, Bendel down eight when they cut it to two. Look at Jason Kelly get around the corner here, stretching for the goal line, and he gets it. Two-pointer, no good. It was 20 to 18, Genesee, and the Wolves answer on the next drive. Heat Brown, the keeper, 27-18 at that point. It was all elementary. As in elementary, my dear Watson. Oh, look at the moves here by Ryan Watson for the touchdown. 34-18, Genesee moves on to the next round on the high school.